Microphone test, one, two, three, microphone test, one, two, three. Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. I did my test, y'all. <coughs> it sounded good. I promise you, I will get this right constantly. Consistently, yeah. But anyway, I had to sit down because I, y'all, got my head hurts. I've never had, like, this kind of headache. I mean, I've been drinking nothing but fluids today. Speaking of which, I want to show y'all this. So, this I got <clears throat> ages ago from um, Costco, one of my co-workers at my other place got it for me. <clears throat> it is Von B Honey Citron and Ginger Tea. $9.99 for this huge jar. I'm already plotting to get another one. You put like three tablespoons and um, let me grab the right spoon. I haven't eaten on. So you take like that, right? And then you take three of hot water. I'd already put two in. Just heat it up. Now, it says, y'all, that, all right, it's 50 calories for three teaspoons. It doesn't say what's in here, but you can use it for tea, jam, salad dressing, and more. So, I might go on their website and see what they say. Okay, it's citron preserves. Okay, the first thing is sugar, of course. Um, ginger preserves, yeah, so it's, it's sweet, <clears throat> but I don't think you need to use as much, maybe. But then that's why I'm adding the ginger drink mix. This is from Trader Joe's, y'all. This stuff is so good. I throw it in my cooking. I throw it in a lot of things. It's just, is it as good as grating up your own fresh ginger? No. But do you buy ginger and use it? No. So for me, and it it tastes wonderful. But if you're getting, if you're out, you're not doing any sugar, you're not going to want this. But it is the most heavenly concoction when you are sick. It is so hot. And then I might add some more lemon. Um, I worked with a woman named Alma. <clears throat> she made this. So good. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. So, Von B, Trader Joe's. Did I say Costco? Yeah, not Price Club, Costco. But, you have to, once, I hadn't really tried it because I had to put it in my refrigerator. <laughs> but I managed somehow. Mm. And you can taste, like, the lemon pulp. Even kind of not 100% tasting, you can taste it. Okay, so I wanted to share that. <clears throat> Again, I got my microphone. I did a check. You're going to hear other videos I had previously done before this, so bear with me. And, um, yeah, I will get it together. So I'm just drinking liquids like crazy today. It is staying... What time is it? It is five o'clock and it's not dark hope hope is coming y'all but I wanted to share with you what I got at Whole Foods and uh, I ate some of it so what did I eat y'all this thing was like 80 bucks but um, I ate I had a, a single Waterloo sparkling lemon lime it was 79 cents I didn't particularly like that flavor so I would not buy a bunch of them <coughs> I had the spicy shrimp tempura that was $12.49 and I had a little bit that night and the next morning from on my birthday that that was some good sushi y'all and um, I tried the two mochis in my car the vanilla and um, chocolate they were okay about two dollars worth each um, you could get a bunch of <coughs> Trader Joe's for almost that same price so Trader Joe's is the best mochi I think there's a my mochi you can get at the grocery store it's nowhere near as good as the trader joe's and the strawberry one y'all oh okay so the other thing and i've almost eaten it up and i forced myself to save you guys some <laughs> i wish i could share but this is and this is absolutely my top favorite thing at trader joe's whole foods y'all whole foods um they're calling it cranberry apple tuna salad. It's $13.99 a pound, and this was 0.86 pounds, so it was $12.03. So 
So that's, if you can read that, y'all. So I think th their, all their tuna fish is excellent. This um, <clears throat> seemed, a I, haven't ha I haven't been in Whole Foods probably since the pandemic or before that. And it, the tuna they use is yellowfin tuna, but the lemon, the first hit, I bet I can even taste it right now, y'all. Amazing. You see that? That green, that is actually a piece of apple. And then you got your cranberry. I don't see, oh yeah, I don't see green onion. Um, there must not be that much. But even now, not tasting. Whatever the lemon is they're putting in this, y'all, it's phenomenal. Um, let's see here. It says lemon dressing, soybean oil, water, lemon juice, egg yolk, organic distilled vinegar, salt, sugar, something, something, and organic spice, organic mustard seed, dried cranberries, apples, and green onion. I say it's for Beverly to try because we used to get this all the time at the pool. <clears throat> I would swing by there and pick up some of that. And you don't want to waste bread. You're really just having a cracker or some lettuce. You don't need bread with this thing because it's too good. You really don't. We would get some kind of yummy cracker. So um, when I go back to my other place, which should be soon, it's more on the beaten path than going to other place. So that might come into my repertoire. Hold on, sorry. Listen. My head was draining. I thought, I, I think like if I don't, you don't see me on the camera, but I have my microphone. Anyway, so that is absolutely, if y'all haven't tried it and you have a Whole Foods near you and you love tuna, you're not going to regret it. Mm. They also, um, they have this pasta salad. They call it deli salad. My mom loved this deli salad. Um, that's not my super, I mean, I'll get it. <clears throat> it's one of the less expensive things, but they were full force. They had their salad bar out. They had all kinds of fried chicken, fried stuff out, the hot bar. But I just stuck to my guns on what I had in my head I wanted. And I can't, I feel like I uploaded all the Valentine stuff already in my last haul. Um, all the car, I had so much fun. <coughs> and I took pictures to hope, inspire me when I'm actually... I'm going to start making Valentine's stuff. Then I'm going to look at it and, and get some ideas. But let's see food-wise. Excuse me, you guys. So I got um, cream Danish. This is the cheese one, you know. They're superb. Now, Trader Joe's is pretty good, too. You just throw this in the toaster oven for a little bit. Just heat it up. Melt the cheese, you guys. And it's, like, flaky. So I got four, still have two left. <coughs> um, I can't find my other glasses somewhere in the, I don't know, I was too tired this morning, so I have, this is my backup pair. So there's 749, so what, two, four, six, eight, so uh, under $2 for each one. I mean, you taste all the ingredients, y'all. I'm just calling it, Cream cheese Danish four counts. So each one has um, 420 calories. So I've been splitting them, which really is very, you know, when you have all those rich ingredients, I think it, it's more satisfying, right? <coughs> so, and then, I told you I wasn't feeling that great. I got myself some tiramisu. Now, they have a strawberries and cream cake, a fruit cake, which is like whipped cream and fruit. And there's a Norwegian chocolate cake, those you guys, but I'm not gonna buy myself a whole cake. So I decided whatever they had cut up, I would get. And they had the tiramisu cut up. This stuff is, this was $6.72. Now, at this restaurant, I had pizza delivered from, you know, I haven't even cracked it. They um, charged $5 for a piece. So I can't quite taste it. So let's try, do not want the tuna fish one. But look at, look at that. I mean, this is a treat. You know, this is not like go there every week and get this kind of stuff. Look at that. It's just so creamy. Mm. So, 
will not be wasting this. Go see when the, the when it's good to them. Hmm. So by the second, mm. even with my cold. So they are my favorite, and again, they're treats. Like we would go <clears throat> get something like that in the tuna and, and cut it in thirds if Angela wouldn't always eat it. And my favorite things there too. Um, my mom loved chocolate milk. Like she had chocolate milk all the time. I like it. I just don't try to have as much dairy. But they had this Belgian style chocolate milk. They used to have it in a glass jar. If y'all know what I'm talking about, in a glass bottle. And I couldn't see that. So this is the thing. It doesn't contain any carrageenan. Reduced fat milk, cane sugar, cocoa, vanilla, carob bean, gum, vitamin A, vitamin D, some kind of organic ingredient. So there was an old couple when I was getting it and she was asking me all about it. She was, I was trying to get her to watch my channel. I, doubt, I don't think they did. But anyway, um, it's just thick even here. Like, if you're going to treat yourself to chocolate milk, y'all. And how much was that? Um, my eyes are... <laughs> called Comtro Belgian Dark Chocolate. $4.19. So, I'm going to enjoy every last drop of it. And I think... I got these... <clears throat> so they're $14.99. They're pretty. Kind of like, remind me of my mother and Mimi. You know? So I hadn't bought flowers for myself in a while. Can't smell them, but I just thought they were so pretty. They cheer me up when I see them. And this I kind of got in honor of my mom. And, <clears throat> you know, Beverly and I are best friends, but she laughed. She did. She was trying not to laugh at me or say anything. She did. But I know, because she's like a. a expert master flower ranger person but I have this little like froggy thing I guess what are those called I don't know what it's called anyway I kept these on and I like it it's a little wonky right this poor little thing is hanging down this thing it was struggling from the very beginning look at that see anyway <clears throat> and last but not least I feel like I got this here yeah La, something or other, raspberry, blueberry, yogurt, 329. Um, again, I don't eat whole milk a lot, but <clears throat> I was craving that day of yogurt. So, and I might even have <clears throat> a little like yogurt and um, some fruit on it as a snack. So that is it. <clears throat> that was my Trader Joe's. I used to have game in the beginning. You'd have to take a drink of something every time I said the wrong store. Yeah. Maybe eat a piece of chocolate or a strawberry or something like that. Mm. So good. <clears throat> So I'm going to edit here. It's super short and sweet. Um, I am going to do some haul of some stuff I have on my table. I'm not going to do taste tests today, but um, I kind of want to get it put away and I'm going back to bed. I think, yeah, I'm going to get a protein shake, get another big thing of water, get this heated up and put in my little thermos mug. And... Um, you know, Doc, do you like Doc, Doc Martin? The, um, I know there's a new, the last season is out. So I thought, you know what? Let me watch the first season. You know, I'll watch a couple episodes that I like of each season. My mom loved um, Al. <coughs> was it Al, the big guy? It was Al, his son. Anyway, she loved the big guy. She thought he was so funny. And he is funny. So I'm just watching the first one when he comes and... Anyway, it's, it's just, you know, and Cornwall is so beautiful. But yeah, it's funny. I go back to things that comfort me like that, that my mom and I like together. I guess that's natural, right? All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope the microphone's better. I'm going to test every time I use it. And um, I'm not going to do it. Even if I'm impulsive, I'm going to make myself go get my microphone because I'm very impulsive in case you haven't figured that out. But I'm going to upload um, another... I got 
like Timu, I broke down in Timu, Timu, Timu to four halls just because nobody wants to watch. I mean, I watch other people and they go on and on. And some people, <clears throat> maybe you would want me to do this more, seem to talk forever about one item. Like, y'all, come on. I mean, I don't want to be super fast, but you know, we're burning up energy. We're burning up our minutes. So anyway, I shouldn't be, cre I shouldn't be judgmental. Okay, guys, thank you again. And I'm going to see you with some stuff. <laughs> I don't know where at this point. I just, y'all, I just, you know what? I just need to clean my table. And then tomorrow I want to do my tear tray for Valentine's. And I started a scrapbook paper project. This thing was so heavy. I brought it upstairs and I'm just sorting a loose sort again, like vellum, glitter, emboss, I want all those separated. Anything that has really great graphics, separate. And then the ones that are more, you know, normal, average, anything that's just a plain color, I separated. And then I've been pulling for Angela's book, for Mimi's book, for my vintage stuff. So I <coughs> got all kinds of good stuff. You know, there's this woman I found, I can't think of her name. I really like her a lot. And she's been, um, she's really good at, you know, I want to bind another book and she's really good at it and, cl and clear instructions. I like how she talks. I just like everything about her, but she has these printables, right? And I laid in my bed and I was thinking, okay, well, I needed this. And I thought, Tracy, you're getting a laptop and get that done. You don't, you know what you have? And that's what made me start. I thought you can look at your scrapbook paper. Yeah, they're not printed on, you know, anything fancy. Maybe 10 years down the line, you want to do that? You can do it, but we're not jumping ahead. So that's what made me go look at my scrapbook paper. And all these other things she's printing out. I have tons of original old books. So I pulled a bunch. So I have it. And then I hope you guys enjoy looking at my um, my glue book, my visual, my daily book. I, I don't know what to call it. It's just my mental health. But now I'm feeling... Um, I put some Tamu stuff I got in there and I did some stuff I'll show you when I do my haul, when I upload it. Maybe I'll do it before. And then I, um, oh, I didn't, my squirrel got loose. Wow. You guys. Wow. Hmm. What squirrel was I trying to keep a hold of y'all? I want to add color next. I want to do some stenciling. I want to do, um, you get like a paste modeling paste and I'm going to do like some layers on it just to play this is my playbook right so tomorrow I'm going to make I'm going to allow myself I'm going to make I want an hour of sitting and playing I just do and um, if I probably do it at my table just because right now I want to add like I just have I have all I have acrylic from very expensive acrylic down to the stuff you get at the Dollar Tree down to stuff I found in the thrift store and I just want to put some of that really cheap acrylic is awesome because it's not um, it's not pigmented. So you just get like a light sheen on it, which is kind of what I want to do. So I'm just going to play with it, show you guys what I do to build up pages. And then I want to start doing my Valentine glue book. Now, Beverly has taken some golden books home for me. <coughs> I don't think we'll even get the Valentine golden book done before Valentine's. But, that you know, y'all, I'm working on Christmas. So, and I love heart stuff anyway. It's amazing how much heart stuff I have. And I have some more Dollar Tree and yeah, more, de I have two, I have stuff in my, I think I have 25 things worth of stuff in my studio and what's upstairs to declutter, just get it out. I got boxes to break down. So, <clears throat> you know, um, like I said, I'm in myself a year to really, really see a huge difference. And I pulled clothes out of my closet. I just haven't sat down and gone through them with you guys. I mean, maybe I'll have time to do that tomorrow. So I want to pack them up. My goal was to go yesterday, but I think what I'll do Friday, depending on how I feel. Um, or I could even go Thursday before work since I have time in the morning now. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. But anyway, I want to get them done and put in my car. So when the mood strikes me, I can head out to the food bank and drop it off. So I'm pretty sure I have 25 tops, you guys. And um, it's Joyce, right? And you were talking about what you're doing. You know, it's we're all so much more alike. And even, I mean, we all have our different thing. But honestly, clothes is a tough one. And I don't know why it becomes emotional. But I really, truly going to rise to the occasion. And they're, especially because my clothes are plus size. They're in great shape. They're cute. And I'm wearing something once every six weeks. And somebody would wear it all the time. You know, that's the standard I want to hold myself to. That's. But I, you know, and I've talked in, through what it is, but I just need to move past it, so. And the Timu, don't even talk to me. I'm going to say this. 
their stuff is for the prices they're charging their stuff is decent decent quality like i said i think i'll give amazon a run for its money i've never done wish or miss a or sheen or any of that um but yeah there's a couple of th you know they have enamel enamel pins that are a great deal there's some stuff and a couple earrings i got are really cute for the price amazing but we're gonna go all through that <clears throat> so i filmed my first haul then i have organized my second haul to film so and I, i'm going to spread it out and then i don't know even what today is y'all it's today my birthday 20 29 30 tomorrow's the 31st i wanted to do um seven days of valentine dollar tree hauls so i'm going to try to organize that and you know if i'm feeling super good tomorrow i can do some filming so i got a lot of filming to do which makes me very very happy and very lucky Okay, guys, I'll see you back with some groceries from my kitchen table.